In this video, you see how to create dependent drop-down lists. This list will autocomplete if you select the only option. In my case, this is the only country and city from Africa. You may also delete earlier end data or the data from dependent lists is deleted. If I delete country, the next level will be cleared. And also, you may create the second list, or the third, fourth one, and so forth. In my first list, I skip this column E. My second list has more levels. So, you can create different drop-down lists in the same worksheet from the scratch. Please see instructions and links below the video. First, I suggest you to download the copy of this file and see how it works. If you want to embed a drop-down list in your current sheet, you need to create your data sheet first. Data must look like this. All cells are filled. And you may enter new values at the bottom of this list later. Secondly, you need to create a unique list of first level. This is just a unique function, unique A through A. And you see this beautiful unique list. And create the first drop-down manually. Select the range you want, go to data, data validation, and get a list from a range and adjust this range. For my case, it's data 1, h1, h99. So the first list is created manually. Next, you need to copy the code and go to Tools, Script Editor, name your project and paste the code here. You will need to set main sheet is the sheet when your data. Uh, you will set this name main or any name of your worksheet. Next, data sheet. In my case, it's data one for first list and data two for the second list. Next, number of levels. First drop downs has four levels and the second has seven levels. Next, ELCO is the number of left column where your data validation starts. Column B is 2 and column I, let's check with the column formula, column of I is 9. So the second one column to start validation is 9. Next, row to start validation is 2 and 2. Next, offsets, and this is a tricky part. Offsets uh, create these gaps. If you need to create a gap between your drop-down dependent lists, you will set this offset. In this case, it is 2, 1, 2. If you need to skip more columns, set it to 3, 4, and so forth. When you enter a new value, like Earth, the next list is generated. In sheet data, the script creates the formula unique filter, which will search all values from the next level and return it as a column. So script can get it and convert into array and create a drop-down list. This means you have to leave empty space to columns right side from your data. If you add a new value, in the end, let's copy this row with sun and paste it here and add another city, city2. And go back to main, you may immediately enter values. So you have the city and city2 to choose.